Howdy folks, this is Brian from South Georgia Hydroponics. Today we are in the onion patch. Um, so let's talk about big onions for just a minute. A lot of people struggle with growing large bulb on onions. And I'm hoping, um, this is my first year growing large bulb onions, and I think I've done enough research and enough study and I can help y'all. So first things first, um, you wanna plant your onions on a mound. And if you, if you see across here, we've created mounds and uh, what you want to do is, is, is you want to do that because you want the onions don't like to be sitting in super wet soil so you want them up uh, about a four inch mound second thing you're going to do is uh, go through with the dibble and if you saw in the last video right at the very end uh, we were running the dibble down through here what that does is it creates a furrow in the middle of the row and then it also creates a hole for your onion to go in. And be sure that when you're planting your, your onion slips, don't plant them too deep. If you plant the onion too deep, it won't fo form a bulb uh, because the pressure of the dirt will, will keep it from growing and getting big. So only plant that, that, that bulb just, just barely in the ground. Just make sure the roots are in the ground and that's about it. So today what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be applying our nitrogen fertilizer. The fertilizer we use is ammonium sulfate. Two reasons. One, onions require a lot of nitrogen. Secondly, in order for an onion to create that distinct bite, they require a lot of sulfur. So we use the ammonium sulfate, which has the sulfur in it, uh, to help the plants grow and develop their distinct flavor. So what I'm going to be using today is a furrowing hoe. Um, create a small furrow right down the middle, and then we'll come back. And we'll uh, we'll apply some nitrogen. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna do our, our little furrow here. I'm not gonna do the entire row, uh, but just to give you an idea as to how I do it. So take your furrow hoe and create a little furrow right down the middle. And this furrow is where we are going to put our nitrogen. The onions will reach into the middle to get those nutrients. Okay, so now we're going to put down our ammonium sulfate. Um, I'm just using a little pipe jar. Pipe jar is, I think it's about two cups. The, the rate in which you want to apply your ammonium sulfate, keep that in mind, ammonium sulfate is what you got to have for bulb onions. Um, you want to put about a cup of fertilizer per 10 feet of row. So this is about two cups, so uh, this would be enough for about 20 feet. So real simple, you've got your furrow down the middle of your row, your onions are on each side. Just come in here and sprinkle it in, right down the middle. That's all you gotta do, folks. And that's it. Make sure that uh, after you get your, your nitrogen into the furrow, you're gonna come back and we are gonna cover that up because you have to cover up nitrogen or it will um, escape to the atmosphere. All right, folks, here's the last step. After you have your ammonium sulfate in the furrow, come back with your regular hoe and just cover it up. Just as simple as this. It doesn't have to be a lot of dirt. You don't have to mound it in the middle. Just cover that fertilizer up. We're doing this today. Uh, we're about three weeks since we planted these plants. Today, I believe, is the 19th. And uh, we're doing this today because we've got a, uh, a rain system coming in this weekend. And I want to make sure that that, uh, that fertilizer is there when the rain comes. So with all of that being said, I'll give you an up, another update on the onions very soon. 
Thanks for watching. Get out and grow something.